In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to record your presentation slides for your online course using Logitech Capture. Stick to the end for some bonus tips. Hey guys, Adam here from Hustle Savvy. I help solopreneurs to package their expertise into digital products. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you won't miss any of my videos. Before we get started, I would recommend you have two monitors so that you can keep things more organized. For example, on one hand, I have this monitor right here and it's meant to be a control center. It has my recording settings right there. It also has my notes and my scripts for my video in case I need to remember what I need to say. So it's really helpful as it supports my recording. The second part, which is actually my main monitor right here, it's meant for the presentation itself. This is where I put my PowerPoint slides and this is where the screen is gonna get recorded. So I highly recommend that you have two just so that you can have more control. By the way, there are timestamps in the description and comment section below so you can easily jump to different parts of this video. Let's get started. Okay, to start things off, let's open up Logitech Capture. Now, if you don't have that installed yet, check out my super duper detailed video. I'll leave a link in the description and it should be appearing on screen right now. We want to determine what to feed Logitech Capture in the source. So for this example, because we don't want to show our webcam, I've disabled it right here. So instead, I'm going to select something else by clicking this button. Rather than having a webcam, I could choose other options. And what I want to do is window capture as the first method to demo today. I'm going to find the different windows that are open within my desktop. And then from there, I can choose to put it as a source to record. This includes web browser and you know other software, but we're looking for PowerPoint, which is this one. So this is the one we're going to select. So the point of using this method, the window capture method, is that its function is to only display a selected folder or a selected software window. This gives you more room to work with if you only have one monitor. Now, I'm not sure why it's displaying this way. I'm not sure why it's not working. But let's check out the second method that will help you out. Select the source one more time. And then we're going to select a display, which is a monitor to record. In this case, it's display one. It's where I have my main monitor connected. And this is showing my PowerPoint slide. So if I move my mouse over, you can see that this is what's happening. And it's recording everything here. Now, this is great because it solves the whole black screen issue or white screen issue as some people have reported and it's very helpful as well if you're doing tutorial style content what it means is if you are doing something where you are teaching another software so let's minimize this for example um, i could have another software open i could also show folders i can see like there are things happening within this window and this way i can teach someone maybe programming or graphic design using photoshop this is why a screen capture method is much better solution. Now, before you start recording, I would recommend a few checks so that you don't waste your time recording the wrong things. The first one is a mic check and is basically checking the audio settings. As you can see here at the bottom, as I'm speaking, this indicator is going up and down or left to right. And it shows that it's receiving sound. I can also mute this button here. Make sure this is not muted though and make sure the volume is on its maximum. If you want to check whether it's the right microphone, because sometimes you know you might be having a few microphones, whether the one that's built into your laptop or it could be your webcam microphone, you wanna make sure that it's the right one. And right here, I can click on this audio icon and have a drop down of all the various microphones I can attach. So in this case, let's say I'm going with the Yeti and this way we'll have the highest quality that we have set up. The next thing to consider is knowing where your destination folder is. If you click on this icon right here, it will open up the destination folder of all the recordings and it's best to have this organized. And maybe you want to create subfolders as you quickly um, do batch recording. You might get confused on which lesson you are recording. So it's best to have this folder handy. You can determine where the folder is by heading over to this camera icon and you can change your destination folder right here by clicking this button. 
Now that you've got that out of the way, you're ready to record by hitting this button right here. Or you can also use the hotkeys, which is this alt button. And it is going to display all the buttons that are hotkeys for Logitech capture. And the reason why it's alt is because it's, well, this Logitech captures way of this differentiating itself um, with its hotkeys. So alt R to start recording or click this button right here. So if I click, it will start a countdown and you'll see a red timer here. And that means we are now ready to go. Everything that's happening on this screen will be recorded. So make sure that you enter presentation mode before you start. By the way, it's best that you have a course outline template with you while you're doing a recording so you stay efficient and you can keep track of the different lessons that you're recording, especially if you're doing it in one whole batch. I have a free template for course outline, link in the description below. Okay, now on to some bonus tips. So these are bonus tips for you to help avoid distractions as you are recording your presentation. So the first tip I have is to avoid your mouse from being a distraction. So rather than doing this typical presentation mode, what you can do is do a slideshow with presenter view. So enable this and the next time when you enter presentation mode, you would have another window here. Let me just minimize that. And this acts as your control center. And you can just click this button here to move to different parts of your slides. So this way you won't be interrupting or distracting anyone with the mouse on your main presentation screen like this. Another bonus tip is to turn off notifications. This will then avoid you having all your messages or your email notification being shown on your main presentation screen. To do that, and head over this icon right here for Windows. And you can select all settings. Hit the systems. Hit the notification and toggle this on or off. I'm just going to leave it off. And this is how you disable the notification. Another useful thing to make things more presentable is to hide your taskbar, which is this black bar at the bottom here. It shows your time and date and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it might be a distraction. So what you want to do is right click on this taskbar and click on the settings and enable automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. Give it a second and it should now automatically hide unless you hover your mouse over. I'm going to move my mouse around a bit and you see now it's hidden and it's only going to appear if I go down here. Now, sometimes when you enter presentation mode, this happens where your main screen is the control panel instead. So you can actually solve this by swapping the displays around. Head over to display settings, swap presenter view and slideshow. Give it a second and you'll see now that we've swapped to the rightful presentation slides to be displayed on the main screen, the other monitor is showing the uh, display or other presentation view. Check out this video right here if you want to learn more about Logitech Capture and all the different functions that it has. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if the video was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.